These are the outdoor spotlights, the E10, and this is a two pack from Eufy. Now they say triple LED, okay? And obviously you're gonna be able to buy bigger packs of these spotlights or extra sets if you wanna get more going on there. But uh, one of the interesting things that I've already discovered with these lights is that they work with Eufy cameras to automate the light turning on when someone's uh, around your home. So I think that's especially useful with some of these little spotlights. Let's, let's get in there and uh, let's see what we got. So we got two boxes and a little quick start guide. This will tell you that you gotta be in what's called the Eufy Life app with these. So it's a separate one if you have their cameras, a uh, little different to manage and navigate, but I was able to use the same exact account from Eufy in both apps. One of the things I've already noticed is we've got metal all over the place. Now these are a connection piece threaded on both sides. The power adapter isn't huge. I like that about these lights. They have a single button and I like that they've done most of the connections for me. So you see right there, okay? They've already done that up for me. I don't have to think about doing that and making sure everything's tightened down perfectly. I can check that before I go put it outside, but uh, that's, that's a nice little touch. I like that. Not a lot of companies do that. There's not so much cable with this one. Well, here to the controller is about four feet. And then there's only a single connector at the end. So this is gonna be interesting with the spotlights. All right. So there's a single connector at the end of this. And I mean, you know, that is 10, 15 feet before you're getting to the first light. Uh, so this will be interesting. I'm thinking the way they've built this one is it's gonna let you put additional units on because there's gonna be a connector at the end. We'll see though. So the spotlights themselves, physically not large units. Uh, I actually really like that design. Uh, what we also have is a locking mechanism so I can get these tilted in the direction I'd like. And then I have a little twist here to lock it in place. You're gonna be able to adjust that anytime. There is two cables coming in and out. So you're gonna have to try and hide those can remove them and that's important in case you break a stake you'd be able to replace that i'm at the end uh the second unit and there is an extra connection at the end so it looks like you're going to be able to add additional spotlights now i don't know today what the rating is how many you could actually fit on this but this outputs at 27 volts, uh, 0.88 of an amp. Uh, not a huge transformer, even the input side, 100 to 240 at 0.6 of an amp. For me, you're not gonna be able to do a ton, I don't think, but you are going to be able to put a few extra on here, at least as far as I can tell. Always check the electrical requirements of anything like that. And I do like that there's an end cap on the final unit there. So between each light, uh, definitely more than a wingspan, it looks like 10 feet to me. So you do have some distance, you're gonna be able to place these and you will notice the colors are independently being controlled at the moment. There's a little resistance on this to kind of push it down. So you do gotta hold it while you do that and Let's get it into the app. This process takes nothing at all. You can see I have another light in there already, the Eufy Life app, and they, they just tell you, okay, test them out, hitting next, connect the device. You basically hold the little push button, hold that for a couple of seconds till they flash three times, and then hit that, and now it's scanning to find Bluetooth devices around me and it's found them and now I just select them 
Now, where are we putting them in? We get to choose front yard and then where we're gonna put them uh, around our home. I'm gonna say around the wall. And now you get to choose, do you wanna just use Bluetooth control or Wi-Fi? And I'm gonna configure Wi-Fi. That's gonna give me extra automation options. So I would suggest you do that. Uh, and when you're doing this setup, you may want uh, to actually do this out where you're going to install them so you can see if your Wi-Fi connection is gonna work out there. Uh, I haven't seen any problems from a quality standpoint. The little button pad is where your Wi-Fi connection is gonna be maintained from. So as long as you're in a good spot with that, these will work just fine. All the communications being done through the wire here between those two units. Now, it does want us to do a firmware update. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This can take a few minutes, but always keep your devices updated if you can. You can usually set an automatic update. Update successful, there we go, we're all done. Now, they're gonna take us through a little bit of the connection process, just making sure that we're installing them right. So it's just the pin connections, things like that. Insert the ground stakes, there's really nothing here. They've never talked to me about these. <laughs> uh, you know, if you wanna get them higher up. What I'm thinking happens, I'm not gonna do this, but I can tell that this is a threaded connection right here. And because these have a hole all the way through, see my eye? So what I'm thinking is you take that out, uh, you gotta get the cable all the way through. So that's gonna be a bit of a painful process. You gotta disconnect everything, but then you'll be able to uh, twist this on and uh, extend them further out if you wanna get them closer to your wall. So they never said anything about that, but that's what I'm seeing. Now, from the perspective of the actual units, let me put them like that. And there's quite a few options inside of the app. So there's an AI component where you can say, okay, this is Tea Garden Tranquility. All right, let's, uh, let's have Evening Alley Warmth. Because I've only got two, there's not a lot going on. Uh, I think you want a few more. But there is this AI light chat. And so I tested this before with a different set of lights from these guys. And I said, okay, give me Spider-Man. And then I just hit the generate button. And it's now created that. See? So it understood the reference. Uh, uh, it clearly has done it right. There's also a magic dice. So you could just hit the magic dice and it rolls through a different effect. You can keep hitting that magic dice and uh, kind of a neat little, little feature there. Of course, we can make these a little brighter. So this is 100% and this is on New Year's Day. Ooh, it's pretty bright. And I'm gonna take this all the way down to 1%. And you can see it's just a little spotlight at that point. But we have quite, quite a range there, pretty bright, and actually affecting a lot of the wall. So um, that's, that's pretty good, guys, for two little spotlights, right? Like this doesn't seem like a lot of power usage. Uh, and the effects you can roll through, you know, like, I'm gonna keep them like that for a minute here. Uh, okay, this is Flag Day. This is Halloween number two. This is Christmas Day three. Uh, we just could keep going. And then there's a number of different categories. So I just switched to seasons and you'll see, okay, here's healing. Oh, well, I can heal myself. Here's Forest Mystery. So there's a lot of effects in here. And that's before we get to just the daily stuff. So if you wanted a cool white light, there you go. And you have warm light and a, just a basic white. So you're going through the different white ranges. That's because these are RGB WW LEDs. Now the other option you have is the personal tab 
up there. And that means you can set each one individually to a different color. So you see up at the top here, I've set the two. You just tap on those when you've got the color you want. And then I can use a dynamic effect down at the bottom here. Try and get that to look right for you guys. So here's stream light. Kind of rolling through a little bit of uh, fade. Here's flow. It's just, it would be more flow if we had more lights. And here's twinkle. So I can set those as personal effects and kind of change things up. I can also go to the color temperature. So that's the white, white section of the lights and uh, you know, all that going on with just a couple of spotlights. The other thing that is really interesting to me is you have these interactive scenes. Now, because I have some Eufy cameras, I can choose a camera and whenever they detect a human, I can put on a specific scene. Uh, that's, that's a pretty interesting little automation. It doesn't look like I can really change uh, from that, but I get a lighting duration. What I mean by I can't really change from that is like, what if a cat comes up? Maybe I want to give a different, a different lighting scheme. Uh, but it does look like I can adjust things based on the date or time and have different activations happen. These should be fairly easy. I've already installed the extensions, so they're quite long. Hoping one here, around there, one here, and then just to this one should be just to here. I should be able to just come around. Slip down here, tidy that up in a bit. What I want to do is have this and maybe point it at that pumpkin. So let's say we go here. That was not exactly a tough one. Easy, 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 easy. Biggest problem is you got to deal with few cables, but this isn't going to matter in the evening. I've got good seals. There we go. There we go. Okay. So I'm just creating a scene right now. And if my camera right there detects a human coming up, then we're going to turn on, I'm going to turn on the indoor lamp, the uh, spotlights, and this and eventually those permanent lights but I can save it like this uh, I currently have that unplugged so let's just go like that and I'll I'll come back and redo this but now I can set the lighting mode and since it's Halloween let's hit that and let's hit save let's say from sunrise no from sunset to sunrise, I could set a date range. So, you know, I only want to go till November 1st like this, but I really like that little feature right there. And I like this. So I'm gonna set it as a five minute duration and then it should turn off. Now, if I wanted to, I could set different lighting modes per unit. Oh man, those are bright. I mean, I'm not complaining, but whoa. <laughs> you gotta love that. Oh, they did it. Yes. So that, that was right there. See that camera right there? It saw me and it triggered that automation. So it changed us to a Halloween theme. Now, when I add those other lights, this is gonna get even better. Overall, pretty cool set of little spotlights from Eufy. They've obviously got something going here 
already with their products. I, I like these and I like that I'm gonna be able to synchronize these a lot with other products from them. Thanks for watching today and of course, live smart.